and welcome to part three of my Telecaster style guitar build or well, modification and at this stage all of the woodworking is done and now I'm going to show you how I paint it. Hello and welcome to a video all about finishing. Well, painting. It's not actually finished yet but it will be next week, I hope. Right, first I masked off all of the areas I couldn't get any paint on, like the neck pocket and control cover plate, because otherwise they wouldn't fit and it would all go horribly wrong. To prep the guitar at this stage, all I'd done was sand it to 80 grit, because there wasn't any point going to a higher grit, because all the grain still needed to be filled in. We applied a coat of primer all over the body, so that we could see what grain needed to be filled. As you see, if you paint its colour on now, you'd end up with a horrible finished product. So what we need to do was to apply an acrylic glazing putty. This is used to fill in the supposedly minor, but were actually quite deep imperfections that the primer just could not fill in. Obviously, the objective of this was to force it as deep into the grain as possible without smearing too much all over the surface, as this would have to be wet sanded off afterwards. For the first coat, we only applied it to the top and the sides, thinking that the back wouldn't be seen. After it dried for only about 10 minutes, we sanded it off with 500 grit paper. Here you can see the white primer, and then the red areas are where the stopper, or the glazing putty, is filled in the grain nicely. We then added another coat of primer to see if there were any areas where the grain needed to be filled again, and it did. So we did the whole process a second time and then did a final coat of primer. After this had dried, we used a simple aerosol to spray on some black paint, which we used as a guide to sand the top coat of primer perfectly flat. We wet sanded this using 500 grit wet and dry paper. The front came out looking extremely smooth and perfectly flat, but sadly, where we only stop the back once instead of twice like the front, you can see that the grain will still come through on the finished product. So now as you watch the three colour coats of this wonderful turquoise colour, remember to have patience when priming and filling in the grain on your wood, because the preparation is 90% of the job, and if you don't have patience, you'll never be satisfied with the finished product. But you probably won't listen to me and you'll make the same impatient mistake as I did. So moving on, after the three colour coats waiting five minutes in between, we applied three coats of clear lacquer. Now we only had to wait overnight for the lacquer to dry before we could start polishing. But make sure you follow the manufacturer's description for all of the paint you use, because some of the aerosols can take up to three months to go off. If you look into the finish at this stage, you can see it's got a bubbly effect, and this is known as orange peel. This is caused where the application of the lacquer can never be perfect, which leaves unevenness in the finish. Removing the orange peel is simple. You wet sand with 2000 grit paper to make the finish perfectly flat again. It's perfectly normal that this will leave a dull finish in your paint, because believe it or not, 2000 grit is actually quite rough. Basically, when you spray on a finish, it is uneven, so you use 2000 grit paper to flatten it out. The 2000 grit actually scratches the paint, so you need to use a polishing compound. We're using g Freeze liquid polishing compound to remove the scratches left by the 2000 grit. And after a bit of polishing with a soft cloth, this returns the guitar to a perfectly flat, smooth and shiny finish. In normal household lighting, the guitar looks stunning. If you were stood more than four feet away, you could never see any of the imperfections that were in the wood to begin with. So that was the main part of the video for people that just like to watch me building guitars. But if there's anyone out there that seriously wants to know how to do it properly, then I'm going to demonstrate it using some terrible drawings and some erasable pens. So imagine that these spikes are a cross section of the wood and they are actually all the imperfections in the grain. Now what I would have loved to have done is use a wood filler, represented by the orange pen, so I could have smeared it all over the guitar and then worked it into the grain. Then all I would have had to have done is sand over the wood filler using a sanding block, which would have taken the peaks of the wood down to the bare wood finish and left the wood filler wedged in the grain. The effect of this would have been a perfectly smooth and flat finish, which would have meant that I could have primed and painted the guitar instantly with no hassle. 
But we didn't have any wood filler, so we had to start the long process of priming, which would just touch the tips of the guitar, and only fill in a small section of the grain. We then had to use the glazing putty, or stopper, shown by the red pen, which would fill in part of the grain, but then still smear all over the top. This is why we had to sand the putty off until the peaks were bare wood, reprime it to see what needed to be filled, and then refill in the grain using the stopper until it was all finally completely filled. Now, once it was sanded flat and smooth, we could apply the final coat of primer, which basically just preps the surface to accept the paint. And as you can see, 90% of the work is the horrible filling and priming process, so that after all of that, we can apply the few colour coats and then the three coats of lacquer. As you can see, it's extremely important not to get impatient when doing the horrible job of filling and priming the guitar, ready for the few coats of paint that everybody sees. So there you go, the guitar is now basically finished. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and make sure you subscribe to see the finished product and get a sound demonstration. That will be in the video next week.